Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kevin Hugart, and I'm the Assistant Chief of Police for the Prince William County Police Department. It's my sad duty to inform the public today that we're here on this quiet street in Birchdale, in Dale City. Police Department responded to several 911 calls approximately 2.30 this afternoon. Those 911 callers informed us that people were injured in this house. The responding patrol officers found four adult male victims who had all suffered from gunshot wounds. Those officers immediately started to render first aid to those individuals and were quickly re relieved by our friends with the Fire and Rescue Department. Unfortunately, two of those victims have passed away. The other two victims have been transported to local area hospitals where they are currently receiving medical treatment. At this time, our investigators are on scene talking to witnesses, talking to neighbors and everyone in the neighborhood. And we are very convinced that the violence that took place at this residence today is limited to this individual home. It's not something that's neighborhood wide, but it is relieved to uh, be able to say that it's folks who probably knew each other and have some sort of connection, but they will identify those people and we'll be able to put the put that information out later. Um, the detectives are currently working as fast as they possibly can, interviewing witnesses, trying to identify the victims. Uh, we have not been able to identify them, nor have we been able to identify next of kin at this point. So I don't have any information that I can release, or release to you on who they are. The men and women of the Prince William County Police Department share our sorrow with the family members of these victims. This travesty is not what we want in Prince William County, and it's unheard of in this particular part of our county. Um, we are working very hard, like I said, to identify the person that is responsible for this event. And based on what li limited information I know right now, it is one person that we are looking for. Uh, we do not have enough of a description or any other vehicle information to be uh, releasing that to the public at this time. Detectives are currently trying to get that through interviews. And as soon as we have that information, we will release it because we need the public's help to help us to solve what's happened here today. Uh, this, this part of the county is generally very quiet. It's a uh, nice residential neighborhood, so this type of action that happened here is, is tra traumatic to everybody, including the police department, our community, and everyone associated with the folks who live here who were visiting here. You can see we have a nice rec center right across the street, so it is a pretty nice area of the county where a lot of people come, where they visit, and they enjoy their time. And travesties like this, we don't want that to happen. So we need the community's assistance. If anyone has any information of what happened here today, if anyone has any ideas of what happened here today, we ask that they call the Prince William County Police Department and speak to some of our detectives and give us that information so we can try to help the victims that have, that were injured here this afternoon. So that is the amount of information I have to be uh, released right now. Like I said, we do not have any information on victim information that I can release, nor do we have a suspect description that I can give you at this point. Yes, sir. You mentioned the two people that are the two men that are hospitalized. Can you describe their condition? Critical? I cannot. They're being they're undergoing medical treatment right now. That's all I know. Any indication that this might be drug related? I don't have any of that information at this point. Hopefully, the detectives will find that and use that to our advantage to identify who's responsible for this heinous crime. Major, Major this is, can you describe where the shootings occurred? You heard one of the victims may have been shot outside of the house. The victims were found uh, both inside a residence and outside, so we don't know fully exactly what happened what? from the moment it started until it ended. So that information will be found out by the detectives as they continue their investigation. Are you able to describe this scene? Because it's really not just in front of one home. I see there's some evidence markers here with what looks like clothes and stuff by this electricity. Can you describe that? It, as with any crime scene, we try to block off as much as we can and look for any possible shred of evidence, how small or how big. 
Uh, and that's what you see here. Anything that looks like it could be connected, we'll uh, collect that and examine it to see if it is, and we'll use that as part of our investigation as we continue down the road. This happened right before 3 o'clock. Were there children in the area? This is a wreck center. I don't have that information at this point. So. Major, you mentioned several 911 calls. Were yes. they coming from inside the house, from neighbors? That information is part of the investigation. I don't want to release that at this point. Um, I will say there are more than one, and those folks, we appreciate them calling 911 and getting the emergency services rolling and getting them here quickly. So I can't, can't tell you that yes or no one way or another. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell us, was the incident happening in more than one house? Was more than one house or the residents of more than one house involved? That is still part of the investigation that is going on. The detectives are trying to find out exactly what happened minute by minute to understand all of the circumstances that happened here. So oh. I don't have that information right now. And is there like a primary home where the victims were found? Yes, there is. Can you tell us which one that was? Or? I'm not going to say anything about what we have found inside or outside of the home. That's part of the investigation. It's part of the information that the detectives are trying to uncover. So that's not, I don't have that to release. Okay. And do you know if the victims live together in the home or? We don't, don't know, know who they are, so I can't answer that question at this point. Okay, and there was a description of a, a Bolo that went out earlier, of a yes. black SUV, 2014 Ford, I believe. What, I mean, is that, was that? There was um, information. The detectives are trying to verify the veracity of that. And once they can do that, we will release that information immediately because that is very important to our investigation, finding this person and making sure that they, we get them off the street. Right. And have residents been kept away from their homes as a result of this incident? Uh, I don't know that for certain. Some of them probably have because of the investigation, but we have talked to the residents on either side of where this occurred. They've all been very cooperative and we appreciate their cooperation. So you haven't had to evacuate homes or no, keep people away? No. No. Okay. Just to confirm the sexes, so two males are in the hospital, correct? It is our, uh, all four of the victims are male. All four victims? Yes. Major, in a previous press release, you all said you don't believe the suspect is in this area. Could you describe, do you know where that suspect could be, or how did you come to that determination? We don't know where the suspect is at this point, but we that information was gleaned from the witnesses who talked to the first responding officers and those that are currently being interviewed by our detectives. And when you say area, do you mean this block, this county? Could you elaborate at all? Or? It, they're not here where we are. That's the uh, extent of what I know today. Okay. Do you know uh, like an age range of the victims? Like no, 20s, we don't know 30s, that yet. 40s? You don't they know? all appear to be adults. That's, I'll leave it at that. Um, and I again want to reiterate the sorrow and the pain and the connection that the men and women of the police department have with this community and we feel for the men and women and the families that live on this block. Um, we were working diligently to identify who's did, who has done this and we'll bring them to justice as soon as we possibly can. Can you say anything you. about the weapon that was no, used? No. Okay.
in progress with injuries in Charlie 16, 14,727, and 14,725 Birchdale Avenue. 1538 to start. 1538. Again, I'm sure responded to 14727 Birchdale Avenue. We also received a call from 14725 Birchdale. Both callers found a victim with a gunshot wound. Rescue is also being dispatched. Street supervisor direct. Additional units at the start. Five. I am. Okay. Are there any available K9? Okay, K9 4432. Eleven seven two. In reference to bridal post, everyone else coming to describe except for the co responders now. Eleven five four twelve ninety three eighteen eighteen. I hold you all clear. Clear. Just be advised for the shooting. It seems we're gonna have three victims at the residence of one four seven two three. Possibly a black vehicle involved. Possibly a Chevy Tahoe. Last thing heading towards the Birchdale Square pool. Eleven five four. Who's on that? Okay. 425, you can see if the East has an LPR they can set up at Dale Boulevard 95. 07, I'm on scene with the shooting. Okay. 07, looks like you can be uh, one gunshot wound to the abdomen. Rendering aid now. Stand by for uh, Volo. Okay, copy one with the gunshot wound to abdomen. 